Last year's spring, we started digging a foundation. With Thomas the mule, tons of stones were hauled in. We built a timber frame from large poles. After sourcing roofing materials over winter, the builds was continued this year's spring, laying scraps, topsoil root mats from the park to form the base layer for the outer shell, a thick thatch layer of water reed. Check out the Roundhouse series playlist with all previous episodes. The house exterior is now almost complete, just the cone top has yet to be finished which might prove to be one of the trickiest parts of the roof build yet. The Jaeger mind in you? <laughs> no, he's not hungry. Who is? <laughs> Yeah, but considering he hasn't done that much, it'll only get better, won't he? Yeah. Like back in the day, they back in on voice command, huh? Yeah. You see, mo most replica roundhouses, they only have thatch. They didn't put scroll on. And then often the, the smoke can penetrate through the thatch, through yeah. the reed. Yeah, so it's so, less dense. So they don't often have a smoke hole in the top. In most cases, they don't. So, but we use the scroll, it's an extra layer. So it's very and airtight. Yes, we haven't tested it properly, but it is expected that it will be too smoky with the scroll layer. So that's why we're thinking about a smoke hole. But how to incorporate that properly is a tricky one. Mm -hmm. So it's all a balance between keeping out the weather. Yes. Make sure the yeah. smoke exits and then you have health. <laughs> yes, of inside. The smoke uh, toxicity. So and you don't just want wreath over the top. Because then the, it's like if the embers go up, that's what they hit instantly. Uh -huh. Yes. A bit of thinking. And experimenting. A bit of messing, yeah. Yes, and it's really time to light the fire there. Yeah. Maybe tonight. <laughs> oh yeah, but yeah, but Brian learned quickly as well. Good man, Brian. Brian provided us these actually. Without without asking, he brought a whole bunch of willow splittings to come by, and they are very handy now. Chimney, chimney rings. And no, on the side of the top. And if it's not even necessary, we can always close it off. 
what do you think of uh, what we have so far? Yeah, look at man, it's you definitely see the the end of it, you know. I, I love the kind of your door design actually. So the nice curve, beautiful. Yeah, you couldn't have done it any other way, man. No. Well, now medieval door all the yeah, way. Ah, nonsense! <laughs> Don't this, this conversation has been. The archaeologist came over and we were preparing for a big rant on the door. But, but he said, no, he, he wasn't bothered about it at all. And he said, no, there's not, not much evidence of any part of the roundhouse above like one meter level. And they only found a few, few doors in the past. And of course, it's known from medieval times that the do doors were lo lower for defense reasons mainly. Yeah. But uh, certainly there were also peaceful settlements. So there they might have had doors as, as tall as the people. Of course, they wouldn't be two meters. That that is one thing, and it's exactly two meters. Yeah, she'd probably be heavy, man. I I never thought it's the roof gonna be so heavy with all the straws. All the straws and all the reed too. Yes, right? but they're still drying, so that that helps. Yeah, some of that loose reed, maybe. This bit. Mhm. Mm Mwah. Thank you. Yeah, in Ireland, it can last for 20 years. It's standard of professional roof. Yeah, I think we. But then after 20 years, it's pretty well shot. Like yeah, it's gone for sure. But we're never gonna reach 20 years, especially already because of the bad quality reef. I think if we reach 10, we we be very. No, but sure. Look at we'd be years, delighted. 10 years with natural materials uh -huh. like that. That's it's cool, man. Uh huh. It's it cool. is. It's like a disposable product, uh -huh. right? It's just the outer layer, like the the actual walls, the roof frame, even the scraw. It should be there indefinite. Yes, and no, not any synthetic materials, no. all natural. So that you know, it's pretty sick. But it's pretty sick. One of our challenges was harvest all the materials yourself. In seven days, we harvested approximately six hundred bundles. Man, it's rough. Great help of a bunch of volunteers. Hi. Water reeds should only be harvested in the second half of winter, when the stems have died off and the leaves are shed. Harvesting with hand tools is not seen as having a high ecological impact and can actually help conserve the reed field in the long term. Reed price has risen with 25% this year. A single bundle now costs 550. Our harvested quantity would have been worth around three and a half thousand euros in commercial reed. It still wasn't enough. Oh, sure, we run out of reed. Now we have to wait another year for it's finished. Well, that didn't happen because no, no. we had to cheat now. We did indeed. So we were actually gifted a bunch of old reed from the from dear Marika who supported us so much with this project. Yeah, as so well as her husband Maki. Big shout out to them. Couldn't have done it without you guys. No, about a hundred extra bundles. Yeah. And then we thought, oh we have way plenty now. And they all <laughs> went up in there. <laughs> they were all gone. Yes. Nice medieval gloves. Okay, 
nose check. Oh yeah. Four day commute on the kayak. <laughs> mm -hmm. I like bone miles. Yeah, I had a nice, uh, nice attitude this ride. Very good storyteller. Yeah, the twisting of scallops. It's not as easy as it might look. You have to get a bit of a feeling for it. So first, we twist the wood. Like that. And then bend it together. And the idea is that the least the fibers break. And it works good to have the, the bark on the outside of the scallop. So, a little twist and then bend together. 17 or 1800 of the uh -huh. of the scallops. The, the ridge needs really the most uh, scallops, so we might get close to the 2000. After some mistreatment, I split my dear legget in two. It only has to last for just a few roof square meters more, so going for a quick fix in the field. Oh gee. What is happening? Over there. Missing out, folks. We're missing out. This morning, our dear supporter, Thatcher Marike, came by to have a look at the progress. Of course, we always hope for more progress since, since yesterday. Ah. But I've been messing with the, with the chimney. Ah, look at that. But it's difficult. So you're gonna make another one of those round rings and put that on top? And, yes. And then tack up again? Yes. I'm not uh, doing it with confidence. <laughs> well, if it turns out as good as the rest, you'll be flying it. It might get a little bit wet and for sure you're going to see grass growing out of your chimney. <laughs> yeah, you left grass. <laughs> you might have. Well, it's absolutely brilliant. Thank you, thank to, you. To achieve this standard of thatching for two somebodies that have never done it before and oh, with did, the most horrible the crooked <laughs> reed imaginable. <laughs> it even has a nice line to it. I think everyone can do it when they take the time to look at the details. Yeah, that is true. It's not rocket science. It, it, it's it, just it, an awful lot of time and patience. Uh -huh, especially for yeah. us uh, not having experience, it takes longer, of course. Yeah, not you without your, your support and your read even, Marika, because... Oh, no, Psst. that was very crooked read that I wouldn't have used on a job anyway. So it, it matches the standard that you cut yourself. Yeah, the chimney I'm still interested in. So just continue as you are. Okay. Um, you want a tea or a coffee? The mystery of the Thatcher lady is out now. <laughs> Only the retired Thatcher man. <laughs> what are we at? 90... 98%? 98%, yes. <laughs> One day more. <laughs> One day more. Probably two then. Yeah, yeah, exactly. 
that will have to be done in a in a in two months when I'm back in Ireland. Yeah, you're and going I, on holidays, man. Fair play to you. No, not holidays. Ah, uh, no, come on. I have to work harder than I was working here <laughs> to get this all edited. After being away for a while, the chimney top still had to be finished. By now our ladder wasn't long enough anymore to reach the top. So I scalloped my smaller ladder onto the roof. Those scallops better be tight. Kind of had seen it coming. Over time, the scallops holding my ladder had become more and more loose until she went. Ouch! Smooth fix! No damage. From here on, I actually kept using my scallop down ladder but just paid more attention to the tightness of the scallops.
So then upcoming, man, upcoming. Make a door. Yes. Make furniture. Yes. <laughs> and hunt a deer. <laughs> housewarming party. And invite everybody for the housewarming party. Yes, that, all, all that helped us and, and were involved. So like landowners and, and guys that gave us permission to harvest materials uh -huh. and I'm gonna live in it. I really look forward to that. Uh-huh. Uh, but and there is a lot involved in that, I guess, if I wanna do it properly. And you can take it as far as, as, as you want, you know? Mm -hmm. So I want to go quite primitive. And also with starting this build, the historical interest came with me. So you also want to look a bit how people actually live there. So that involves a lot of research and arranging yeah. uh, maybe traditional yeah. materials, clothes, tools. Yeah. So that is all pretty exciting. Nice, eh? Hopefully, some special guests. Some special guests then that incorporate, with, you know, with traditional that, skills. Yeah, traditional skills that are are sort of in the same chapter uh -huh. as, as Celtic roundhouse living. Uh huh. We'll have to go, go into high tanning. High tanning pottery. It's it's all part of living in it. Yes. Like people actually live like this, you know. Yeah, what I mean? exactly. yeah, it's pretty sick. Uh -huh. Share your inspiration and and ideas about living in in such, such yeah, a thing. Yeah. Cool. And like stuff we haven't thought of or yes and and maybe yeah maybe you have some interesting stuff that could be useful nice one guys see you on the next one eh? thanks for watching the series i guess the series is still not finished but <laughs> if it ever is gonna be stay tuned <laughs> check out the roundhouse series playlist with all the previous episodes subscribe for the future living experiment in the roundhouse well. and more also consider supporting this project by becoming a patron Thanks a lot, folks.